kids. Today we're going to learn about nebulas, or giant clouds of dust and gas out in space. In fact, we're going to make one in your kitchen. What you'll need is a salad spinner, some washable tempera paints, and a round circle of construction paper. Open the lid on the salad spinner and place your round piece of construction paper in the bottom. Make sure you've trimmed it so that it fits in the bottom. Now you'll drip different colors of washable tempera paint onto your construction paper. Imagine each different color is a different element like hydrogen or helium. Pick just a few and make sure that the paints touch a little bit as you drip them onto the construction paper surface. Even though we're using washable paints, it's really important to get permission to use the salad spinner before you do this experiment. When you're happy with your combination of elements, replace the salad spinner lid and depress the plunger a few times to make your nebula spin. While that's running, let's talk about nebulas, clouds of gas and dust in space. Some, like the Orion Nebula, are star nurseries, while others, like the Clown Face Nebula, happen after a star has exploded and spewed elements out into the universe. We take off the lid of our salad spinner after it's finished. We can see that we've created a nebula here out of our colors. Now, I used full strength tempera paints but I wanted to see what would happen if I diluted them a little bit, maybe three parts paint to one part water. In this way, you can do a little science experiment and see what different patterns and colors and thicknesses of the paint, what kind of nebulas they produce. After speeding up our salad spinner, you can see that this nebula is very different from the other one. And that's a great example for what nebulas are like in space. They all look a little bit different, and often we use pictures from many telescopes to produce the bright and colorful images that you see when you look at pictures on the internet. I hope you had fun with your spin art nebula and learned a little bit more about the different things that happen to stars in their life cycles. Whether it's a big or a small star, the elements that get exploded out of it at the end of its life make everything around us, including you and me.